hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here a warm welcome to you please don't forget to subscribe before you go and turn on the bell as well thank you so much so in my last update about twist of fate in the process of looking for a lawyer to fight abby's case tano confessed to pragya that she was only doing everything for revenge and abby did not really rape her and because pragya could not get a lawyer for abby Pragya decided to seek help from Sarita, and Sarita decided to give Pragya a lawyer's number. That was our last update. Let's continue from there. Shahana calls Prachi on the phone and asks her that where did she go to. Prachi slowly tells Shahana that she is at Tano's house to ask Tano to take back the case, and during their talk, Tano may review what proof she might have against her dad. Shahana says that people will not believe their words even if Tano tells them the truth. And Prachi says that she is going to record everything that Tanu would say on her phone. Shahana praises Prachi's idea and asks that why is Prachi talking slowly. Prachi says that there is someone with Tanu and she feels that the person is a police officer. And if the person catch her, then he might arrest her. So that is why she is hiding from them. And Prachi cuts the call so that she can go to Tanu and record their conversation. Tanu gets drink for the man that was with her and both of them have wine and she tells the man that she is going to win the case. Rambro observes everything from the window and Tanu was about to notice Rambro but Rambro eyes on time. Then Tanu gets a call from the inspector and Tanu and the man rushes to the police station without Tanu knowing that Rambro and Prachi are hiding in her house. Rambro thinks to search Tanu's place for proof and she enters inside breaking the window. Tano goes out with the man and asks the watchman that where is her driver, but the watchman says that the driver is not around, and Tano asks the unknown man to drive the car, and both Tano and the man leaves. Prachi noticed that the unknown man has left in the car, but she did not see that Tano is going with the man, so she runs inside to talk with Tano. Rambro thinks that where does she have to search in Tano's house for proof? Then Rambro calls Arian and asks that where does his mom keep important things? Arian asks Rambro to tell him the reason why he asks him that question, and Rambro asks Arian to just answer his question. Arian says that his mom used to hide important things between her iron clothes in her cupboard, and Arian asks Rambro again that why does he want to know where his mom hide important things, but Rambro cuts the call without answering Arian, thinking that Arian will scold him if he tells him the truth. Prachi rings the calling bell in Tano's house, but no one opens the door. Then Prachi gets Shahana's call. Prachi tells Shahana that no one is opening the door, and Shahana advises Prachi to enter inside the house through the window. Prachi agrees and goes to the window, but she saw that the window was broken, and it seems like someone has already broken before, and Prachi jumps in through the broken window opened by Rambro earlier. Inside the house, Rambro goes to Tano's room and hears some sound, and he thinks that who might have entered inside through the window, but he later ignored it and says that it might be his illusion. Then he gets Arian's call. Prachi rushes upstairs hearing the phone ringing, and Rambro searches the cupboard and informs Arian that he is at Tano's house. Then Rambro heard the footsteps and he quickly hides behind the curtain. Prachi enters the room and noticed that someone was behind the curtain and Prachi opens the curtain and she was shocked seeing Rambro and she was about to fall down but Rambro saves her on time and both Prachi and Rambro have an eye lock and a song plays in the background. Arian was still on the call and he asks if Rambro is fine. Rambro says that he is fine. Then Arian heard Prachi's voice and Arian asks Rambro if he went to meet Prachi and lying to him that he is in Tano's house. Rambro couldn't explain himself to Arian and Rambro cuts the call and asks Prachi that why did she come to Tano's house. Prachi then tells Rambro how she planned to take Tano's confession and Prachi also asks that why did Rambro come to Tano's house and Rambro also tells Prachi how he is searching for the proof that Tano had against Abby and Rambro asks Prachi to support him to steal the proof and both Rambro and Prachi goes to search for the proof in Tano's library. At the police station, the constable asks Tano to sign the formality form and Tano asks if the police called her to the police station just for her signature. The inspector says that it is needed for them to call Tano and that was why they called her. Tano says that she is the victim and it is dangerous for her to be going out frequently so the police should not call her frequently to the police station again because it is not safe for her. The inspector asks a constable to stay with Tano and always be with her 
But Tano says that she doesn't need to take the police help, so she doesn't need anybody to stay with her, and she signs the paper. Pragya goes to Raghuvre Mishra's house and tells him that Sarita sent her to him. Raghuvre says that he has already gotten a call from Sarita and he will not fight the case for money because he only fights for the truth. But the problem is that he is not handling cases these days and this is a rape case. And the case is big like Abby's reputation and one mistake can make Abby suffer in jail for 10 years and Pragya's family would have to face the consequences along with him. Lawyer Raghuvre says that he knows that he will get more money if he accepts the case, but he cannot take the risk for the money, and Pragya was shocked to hear this. At Stano's house, Prachi asks Rambro that what do they have to do. Rambro says that they have to steal something from Tano's house that will prove Abby innocent, and both Prachi and Rambro begins to search in Tano's study room. Prachi opens the drawer and it triggers the alarm to start making noise and both Prachi and Rambu goes to the fuse room and turns off the power which stops the alarm. Then Rambu switch on the power switch to get the light and the time alarm was not triggered again. Then Rambu tells Prachi that the drawer that she opened might contain some important evidence which can help them and they rushes to the study room again. At lawyer Raghuvre's house, lawyer Raghuvre tells Pragya that he cannot take Abby's case and Pragya says that the lawyer is her last hope, and if the lawyer refuses, then where can she go to? Raghuvre says that he cannot fight the case, so Pragya should please hire a big criminal lawyer, and he can suggest a good lawyer for Pragya. Pragya says that lawyer Raghuvre always fights for the truth, and that is enough for her because he can do anything. Lawyer Raghuvre says that practically, it is impossible for him to fight the case, and Pragya gets frustrated and asks if the lawyer will refuse to fight the case if it is his son that is in Abby's position. Pragya again begs the lawyer to please fight for the truth because her husband is innocent and Tanu accepted and told her that her husband is truly innocent. Lawyer Raghuvre asks if Pragya have any evidence and Pragya says no and she pleaded with the lawyer to fight the case for her and lawyer Raghuvre finally agrees to take up the case. Pragya was happy and she thanks the lawyer. Then the lawyer asks Pragya to tell him everything and why Tanu wants to take revenge from Abby. Lawyer Raghuvre's daughter-in-law tells him that she has made the file with the available information and lawyer Raghuvre asks his daughter-in-law to bring the file. At Tanu's house, Rambro gets a file from the drawer where it was written that it is the most important document. Prachi opens the file and she found Abby's photo. Then they search again and Prachi saw a pen drive and they look for a laptop to check the content of the pen drive. At the Mera mansion, Rhea sees Palavi and asks her about Rambro. Palavi says that she thought that Rambro came to meet Rhea because Rambro suddenly stood up and goes out while they were watching TV. Rhea says no, Rambro did not come to her because previously Rambro scolded her because of her dad which she felt happy and Palavi says that she is happy because she is getting an understanding daughter-in-law like Rhea and Palavi goes to meet grandma. Rhea overhears Aryan saying that Rambro is with Prachi and Rhea got angry and caught someone. At Tano's house, Prachi and Rambro find a laptop and they place the video that Tano has as proof against Abby. But as they were watching the video, Prachi tells Rambro that they should go and watch the full video in their house because Tano might come back home soon. Just as Rambro and Prachi were about to leave, Tanu came back home with the police and this makes Rambro and Prachi drop the laptop and Tanu says that she would get both Prachi and Rambro arrested for breaking into her property and stealing her belongings. Rambro says that they did not steal anything but Tanu asked the police inspector to arrest them and the police arrested both Prachi and Rambro and they take them away. Tanu checked the video on the laptop and says to herself that it is good that both Rambro and Prachi did not watch the full video, else they would have known her secret. The watchman comes there and says that he got suspicious when the alarm rings, and that was when he informed Tanu that some people are at her house. Tanu says that the watchman's salary will be increased starting from this month for doing his job properly, and Tanu feels relaxed after realizing that Prachi and Rambro did not watch the complete video. Pragya was still at lawyer Raghuvre's house and she got a call from the inspector and the inspector asked Pragya to know what happened through her daughter and the inspector gives the phone to Prachi. Prachi tells Pragya on the phone that she went to Tanu's house and she was arrested and Pragya was shocked hearing this. 
Rambro also calls Vikram and tells him about his arrest, and Rambro and Prachi were taken to the lockup. Prachi asks the constable about her mom, but the constable beat Prachi's hand with a stick and asks her to sit down. Rambro was angry, seeing the constable beating Prachi, and Rambro shouted at the constable. But the constable says that this is a police station and everyone will be treated equally. So Prachi and Rambro should behave, and the constable leaves. Prachi cries in the lockup and Rambro feels bad and asks if Prachi is getting pain. Prachi says that she is slightly feeling pain and Rambro asks Prachi to bring her hand because his mom told him that when the wound is blown, then it reduces the pain. Prachi then stretches forward her hand and Rambro tries to suit her pain by blowing air on her hand and the song plays in the background. Later, Rambro apologizes to Prachi for making her get arrested. But Prachi says that Rambo should not blame himself because it is just a coincidence that they both met at Tano's house. Pragya rushes to the police station and the lady constable comes to the lockup and opens the cell and asks Prachi to meet her mom. Pragya raises her hand to slap Prachi, but she stops halfway and asks Prachi and asks that why did she go to Tano's house. Prachi says that she wants to do something for Pragya and her dad and she only went there to beg Tano to withdraw her case. Pragya says that Prachi is still young for all this and Prachi should leave the matter for her because she would undo everything. Rambro says that Pragya should not be angry with Prachi because Prachi is a good daughter and a brave daughter as well. Pragya says that she understands that Prachi went to confront Tano because Prachi is her daughter but why did Rambro went to Tano's house? Rambro says that he went there for chief's sake and Tano is accusing Abby with fake charges and that was why he went to search for proofs against Tano, and they found the original video that Tano wants to use against Abby, but they couldn't watch it completely. Pragya asks that what is the need to take the risk when they can watch the video in the court. Rambro says that Tano is going to submit an edited video in the court, but they saw the original video where Abby did not even touch Tano. Pragya feels proud of Rambro and Prachi, and she says to Rambro that she is Rambro's chief's wife, and she will not let Rambo stay long in the jail. Alright guys, thank you so much again for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video in any way, please give it a like, share it, subscribe, and please drop a comment if you can. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys!